So we're here today at the amazing Glasgow School of Art, Highlands and Islands campus. And we've got teachers from all over Scotland who've come to participate in a professional learning event, um, which is called Creative Thinking in the Learning Context. What we've done is we've set up the Daydream Believers resource, which is called Solar Punk Island, and we've shipwrecked our teachers. We got them all into the room this morning, briefed them as if they were on the boat to the Galapagos Islands, and then we crashed the boat. And they have to do exactly what we ask the learners to do, start from scratch and think about what have we got it right. So the habitats are all about thinking about what resources they've got in terms of the things around about us, and the things that might have gone down with the ship that they've managed to salvage, but also thinking about what resources they've got as human beings, so what are the skills that they've got on the island, and trying to create a human habitat that's sustainable for the future and that is going to be a kind and great place to live for your own well-being. I think a very different experience for, for most professional learning that teachers get to take part in and I think that's really changed the output from the participants today. It's been really relaxing but really enthusiastic. It felt transformative. It felt like it was exactly what I needed at this point in my career. As we went through the day yesterday, the chats I was having with people that have had more experience than we have has shown me that it's, that it's the way forward and we need to make a change to what we're doing with kids in classrooms because I think what we've got at the moment isn't working as well as it could. When we saw our teachers working together, we saw play and we saw laughter, but we also saw some of the big, big questions that need to sit in our curriculum being answered in a really innovative way. So we know that education in Scotland is changing. We know that Education Scotland is starting to think about experiential learning, and starting to think about the quality of assessment, and all of these things are being looked at by Daydream Believers. So today is Forestopia. Forestopia is a challenge written in partnership with the Ellen MacArthur Foundation and IDEO. And it fundamentally just asks the young people to take a challenge of create a theme park connected to the ecosystem of the forest. So today is a bit more of a gentle pace. We're going to be out in the woods in this beautiful location. And we're going to give everyone an opportunity to listen, to look, and to really learn from the wisdom of nature and to look at outdoor learning, how we can bring that into our curriculum, how we can open up that experience to every learner. This is the educational experience that I want for my children. It's the educational experience that we need in the world because we have no idea what it's going to look like. I just defy people to prefer the textbook Chalk and Talk. Come and do this, come and experience it. I'm converted, so. <laughs> With the Glasgow School of Art working with Daydream, we're hoping to really support our teachers to implement some of the changes that we know that are needed in our classrooms. Just because learning's fun doesn't mean that it's not learning. So if we bring joy and fun and excitement into our classrooms, then our young people will really engage with their learning, whether that's in a creative discipline or it could be in maths and science. We're hoping to show that this project-based learning approach with fun and joy can really enhance the learning for everyone who engages with it.